In this question from the chapter Maxima Minima, we have to show that all rectangles of a given area, that means we are given the area of a rectangle as constant, and we have to show that the square has the least perimeter. So by that it means to say that if we have a rectangle like this, right, whose area is fixed, out of all such rectangles drawn, the square will have the minimum or the smallest perimeter. Let's say begin with uh, taking a rectangle. I took the rectangle whose length as x and breadth being y. And what do we know that uh, area of a rectangle which is x, y and this is constant. Constant. And what we have to maximize or minimize that minimize the perimeter and what is the perimeter of a rectangle as? We know that perimeter of a rectangle is two times length plus breadth. Now, before differentiating it, we need to convert this. I'm going to substitute here y. I'm going to replace this y from here. And from here, what you can see, y is what? y is a over x, a being a constant. So we'll write this is equal to two times x plus y. As I said, y I'm substituting as a over x, a being a constant here. The first thing that we do is to differentiate it with respect to x. So dp by dx, 2 is as it is. Differentiation of x is 1, a being a constant. And differentiation of 1 by x is what? Minus 1 by x squared. So this will become minus here, 1 over x squared. Now, once we have found its differentiation, we'll also be finding its second order derivative. That is d squared p by dx square, this is what, 2, this will become 0, a being a constant, what is the differentiation of 1 by x is, 1 by x square is what? It's actually x raised to the power minus 2, right? And its differentiation is minus 2, x raised to the power minus 3, so it's actually minus 2 over x cube. So this is minus will become plus 2 over x cube. Now, we can see that here, uh, ignoring this, or well, let's uh, simplify it. If I simplify it further, it's 4 times a over x cube. Now, it's very clear from here only. Area is always positive and dimensions are positive. So, irrespective of the values of x, this is going to be greater than 0, hence minima. But then we have to show the working involved. Now, for maximum or minimum, for maximum or minima, that is dp by dx should be equated with 0. And if I this equate with 0, this is 1 minus a over x square is equal to 0. Transposing 2 to the other side becomes 0. So it's 1 is equal to a over x square. So finally, x square is equal to a or we can say x is equal to plus minus under root a. Area has to be positive, right? So I'm taking the same. Then from here, we are going to show that from here, we can say that d square p by dx square is what? Greater than 0, right? Uh, placing x as, let's say if I place at x is equal to under root a. So placing this is 4a over, placing this is under root. So this is x cube, that means a raised to the power half whole cube. So anyway, this is going to be greater than zero. Hence, we'll say hence minima at x is equal to under root a. Now what we have to show is that square has the minimum perimeter. Now we have to show that x is equal to y, that is what a square have. So how to show x is equal to y, like uh, I can use this small space here. So we know y is this, now replacing x with under root a. So we get y also as under root a. So look into this, from here and here. 
we, we conclude that x is equal to y and therefore it is a square. So the minimum area, minimum perimeter or the smallest perimeter is possible when x is equal to y and when x is equal to y that keeps a square.